discrete random variable. So for example, you have uh, a variable such as the number of patients in doctor's surgery would be one, zero, two. You can count them. Or number of children in a family, zero, one, two, three, four. You can count them, right? So a discrete random variable would be the one which you can, which are distinct or separate. You can count them. Uh, this is of course opposed to the continuous random variable. So we'll talk about continuous in the other video. So right now, just me, let me just define what discrete random variable is. <clears throat> discrete random variable. and take on either finite or at most countably infinite. Right, set of discrete values. <clears throat> set of discrete values. So it is the one which takes on only the countable distinct values, zero, one, two, three, four, uh, so on. Uh, but you can count them, they're discrete values, There's nothing in between, right? And uh, for example, the number of children in the family. Hmm. <clears throat> number of patients. In Doctor surgery. So number of children in family can't be 1.1. This is the 0, 1, 2. Number of patients in doctor surgery can't be like uh, uh, 1.3. It will be 0, 1, 2. Something like that. Uh, number of uh, Defective light bulbs. <clears throat> in a box of 10. In a box of 10. So you can say, I mean, maybe, so how many defective bulbs could be there in a box of 10? Could be nothing, zero or one, or it could even be up to 10. Uh, but these are distinct values. These are separate values. Hmm. Okay. And, uh, what is the probability distribution of the random variable X? How do we define that? Then we'll do a few examples. So there is a total probability of one. How is that distributed among the different possible values which X can take? Uh, so <clears throat> the probability distribution of X says that how the total probability of one is distributed among the various X values, right? The various X values. So for example, you toss a fair coin. 
right? And uh, that that coin is tossed twice, uh, and you are saying that how many times head is going to up, appear? So it can appear. I mean, it 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 may appear zero times. I mean, so in the first toss also there is a tail. In the second toss also there is a tail, or it may appear just once, or it may appear on both the tosses, right? So there is a probability attached to all of these occurrences. So when head is not occurring at all in both the cases, when x is zero, then there is a probability attached to it. Then when uh, only one head is going to come out of the two tosses, there is some probability attached to that. And when head is going to come in both the cases, in both the tosses, there is a probability attached to that, right? So the idea is. <clears throat> one thing is that these probabilities, of course, they have to lie between zero to one, and uh, the sum of the probabilities have to be equal to one, right? Each of these probabilities they have to lie between zero to one, and the sum of the probabilities have to be equal to one. So let me do just uh, one question, or you can just write one more line here before I write the question. The probability distribution of a discrete random variable x is a list of each possible value of x together with probability that x takes that value in one trial of the experiment. In one trial of the experiment, right? So let's write example one. Example one. So suppose a fair coin is tossed twice. Right. And let X be. the number of heads observed. So the first thing is that construct the probability distribution of X. And second is uh, find the probability that uh, at least one head is observed. That at least one head is observed. Mm -hmm. Well, you look at the sample space. Put 
would be in the first toss also head has come in the second one also head has come or in the first toss head second toss tail in the first toss toss tail second toss head and in both tosses tail so the possible values of x x is the number of heads it could be zero in this case it could be one in these two cases and it could be two in this case right possible values of x are 0 1 2 right and all of these events all of these are equally likely so this can occur with probability 1 by 4 this can occur with probability 1 by 4 this can occur with probability 1 by 4 and this can occur with probability 1 by 4 so probabilities are lying between 0 to 1 not only that the sum of the probabilities is also equal to 1 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 so x 0, 1, 2, px, this is which case, when you have both the tails, this case, when there is no head, <clears throat> when there are two heads, it could be this case or this case. So out of four, in two cases, uh, there'll be, there'll be at least one head. They'll be uh, exactly one head. So it is one by two. What are these cases? Head tail or tail head. And this is one of the cases in which both are head. So that is one by four. Mm -hmm. That is one. Then the question says at least one head. at least one head. So at least one head would include x equals to one and also include x equals to two. So the probability of x greater than equal to one. So what will that be? So in that case, your x equals to one is one by two and x equals to two is one by four. <clears throat> so that comes out to be three by four. So the probability that there will be at least one head in this experiment, it is going to be equal to three by four. Let us look at one more example. <clears throat> Let's look at one more example. So a random variable X has the following uh, probability function, All right? It can take up the values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And the probability that this thing is going to take the value 0 is 0. It will take the value 1, it is K. It will take the value 2 and 3, it is 2k. It will take the value 4, it is 3k. The value 5k square. Value 6, 2k square. And value 7 is 7k square plus k. Right. Your question is that you need to evaluate. this x lying between 0 to 5. So neither 0 nor 5 between 0 to 5. So px equals to 1, px equals to 2, px equals to 3, px equals to 4 and the addition of that. But you should know this that the sum of the probabilities they have to be equal to 1. So summation of uh, x starting from 
0 to 7, your x has to be equal to 1. So that is equal to 0 plus k plus 2k. k square um, is this 3k square or what no just 3k 3k plus k square plus 2k square plus 7k square plus k equals to 1 so you just uh, calculate this you'll be getting 10k square plus 9k minus 1 equals to 0. You find this out, it will be your 10k square plus 10k minus k, right? So it should be minus 10k square. So you have 10k common is your uh, 10k common k plus 1 sorry minus 1 <clears throat> k plus 1 so you have what 10k minus 1 k plus 1 equals to 0 so k could be equal to either 1 by 10 or k could be equal to minus 1 now this is rejected why is this rejected? Because if k you put equals to minus 1, then the probabilities would be minus, and that is not allowed, right? Probability px can't be negative. So k is equal to 1 by 10, right? So k is equal to 1 by 10. And then you have, you have to calculate this guy. So that means what? px equals to 1 plus px equals to 2. Plus p x equals to four. So you have what? K plus two k x equals to three is also two k plus two k plus three k. No, but k is what one by ten. You calculate this, this comes out to be 8 by 10, which means 4 by 5. So the answer is 4 by 5, right? So this was one of the example of the probability distribution function of the random variable, uh, of the discrete random variable, right? Actually, thank you, Vedam.